Hi, this is Ken Meeks from CB World. Today I wanted to make a quick video to go over some of the tuning methods for some of the antennas we sell here. Uh, what really prompted this was the Procom uh, antennas with the tuning rings. You can see one there on the far left. And uh, we get people calling in asking, do I raise the rings or lower the rings to lengthen the antenna? And the answer is you lower the rings, but we'll, we'll get to that. Um, first we're going to start with this antenna here on the right um, and you can see it is uh, just a whip with a coil on the base goes up all the way up to the tip there it's got a little ball on the top and this particular antenna when you're tuning and you can uh, visit our page on tuning to get more uh, more information on that whole process but when you go to tune this antenna to lengthen or shorten it there is a screw right there that you can kind of see and it's right here so if you needed to lengthen this, this antenna and remember it's always high 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 if you take a measurement on channel 1 and a measurement on channel 40 and it's higher on channel 40 your antenna is too high it's too tall so, for example, if we had taken an SWR reading on this one and the reading on 40 was higher than 1, we would need to shorten the antenna or push this whip down in the base more. Now, if it's already down all the way, you can't shorten it anymore. You actually have to take it out and cut a little bit off the base. Very little. Um, usually, maybe an eighth of an inch at most. And then push it all the way back down. If the reading on channel 1 was higher, we would actually need to pull the antenna up a little bit not all the way there, but up a little bit, and then tighten it. Now, if it was to the point where you couldn't pull it up anymore and still be able to tighten it in there, you would either have to somehow lengthen the antenna, which you could add cable, add a spring. Obviously, in this case, there's already a spring, so you couldn't do that. But um, in a situation where you didn't have a spring already, you could add a spring. And if all else fails, um, like I said, you'll have to get a longer whip. Um, the next one, we'll go to the tuning rings next. And you can see this antenna again goes all the way up to the top. Sometimes they have a ball up there, sometimes they don't. Um, this one happens to not have that. And on these, you unscrew these rings from each other so that you can move them. And then you'll move them either down or up. So if your reading was higher on channel 40, high, 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 if your reading is higher on channel 40, your antenna is too tall. So to lengthen it, or excuse me, to shorten it, you would raise the rings up and then tighten them together. If your reading on channel 1 is higher, you would lengthen the antenna by lowering these rings and then tightening them back together. And that's all there is for that one. The next one we'll look at, and you can probably see right there, this is a, a return. It was damaged. Um, this is a tunable tip antenna. I believe this one's an Everhart or something similar. And this is a fiberglass uh, with a copper wire wound around it. And if we go all the way to the top, you can see the tunable tip there. And on these, you just uh, get my Allen wrench out here. You get just uh, loosen this. set screw here and you can raise or lower this and this will lengthen or shorten the antenna. So, once again, if it's higher on 40, high, 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 the antenna is too tall and you want to shorten it. If it's higher on 1, you want to lengthen it. And then you just tighten that back down and there you go. Now, onto the fire stick antenna. And again, fiberglass copper wound. That yellow band right there just means that this is a no ground plane antenna which is also covered in our articles but not this one. 
Um, so fire stick's similar to the last one. Let's pull this cap off here. And we have a tunable tip. Um, you'll notice it doesn't have a set screw. And it is similar to the tuning rings in that you have to loosen this one right here to be able to unscrew the top. And then once you get it to the position you want, you tighten that back and the top won't turn anymore. And same as the other one, uh, the last one, high, 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 if the antenna, or the reading on channel 40 is higher, your antenna is too tall and you want to screw this in and shorten it. If your reading on channel 1 is higher, you'll want to lengthen it, unscrew it, and then tighten it down. Um, on these, if you can't unscrew that bolt anymore without taking it out and your uh, reading on channel 1 is still higher you'll either have to add a spring or lengthen the cable sometimes will work um, or just get a taller antenna and if your reading on channel 40 is higher and you have this all the way down um, sometimes you can try and go extreme and just unscrew this all together. And sometimes that'll work. If that doesn't work, you are out of luck. Um, usually that won't be a problem if it doesn't work by that point. If your reading isn't even on 1 in 40, you'll want to give us a call and troubleshoot a little bit. Um, one last one we'll look at here is this guy right here and this is uh, similar to a KW uh, Everhard's got several antennas like this and if you look in the tip there you'll see a little wire you might not be able to see on the video but trust me there's a little wire in there and for these the only way to trim them is to pull that wire out and cut it and that will shorten the antenna Lengthening these antennas, you have to put a spring in or a little more wire or something to lengthen the antenna. There, Once you clip that wire and pull it out and clip it, there's no way to put it back on. So you have to be really careful when you're doing these. Um, that should cover all the types of antennas we sell. Um, as always, if you have questions, give us a call or come visit the site. Uh, we should be able to help you get everything installed. Thanks for watching.